We're going to talk about when we're dealing with an absolute value that is greater than a number. Okay, so in this case, we're looking at absolute value of x is greater than 3. So think about some examples of where this would work. Okay, we need a number where when it taken, the absolute value is taken of it, it's going to be greater than 3. So if we're thinking positive numbers, x is equal to 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4, 4 is greater than 3. What if we went to negative numbers? x is equal to, let's say, negative 6. Okay, absolute value of negative 6 is actually positive 6. 6 is greater than 3. When we're dealing with an absolute value that is greater than something, we're actually going to end up with two different regions. Okay? And what I always remember for this is absolute value is greater. There's a little thing I like to remember, which is great tor. Great tor, or as in a union. It's one or the other. Okay? So what we actually make up for this is two different statements. This can go to x is greater than 3, obviously, because it's just the same thing that's here. Or x is, and then you just want to flip the sign and flip the number, less than negative 3. Okay? So if you think about this, this is going to be numbers that are farther down the number line. Take the absolute value of that, it's actually going to be bigger than 3. This is dealing with this. So we actually what we end up with is a union. One another representation. Here's 3, here's negative 3. The numbers that will satisfy it are on either extreme. The, got my little negative. Um, so you're turning it into a or statement. You know, another way of looking at this is the union between these two things. Whenever you're dealing with greater, remember union, greater.